ask you a question. Let's just say today or tomorrow this whole operation would have bust wide open in your face. By some goof up by my father or my sister. Hmm? Something so big that you yourself couldn't even face it. Hmm? Now if that happened, what would you do to my father or my sister, man? Would you kill them? <laughs> you know, CEO. <laughs> the other day, I, I went to spend some time with my son. You know, I went up on the hill. Got him, took him for a ride. And we went out in the neighborhood. And he saw all the people coming and going. He said, Daddy. Daddy, where are all the people going? He would ask. And I said, oh, baby, the, the people going to work. Some coming from work. They're going to the store. They're just going about their business. And I took them to the river, and he saw the boats and the fishermen out there and, and the ships. And he said, Daddy, I said, Dad, this boy was asking me so many questions. It was making my head spin. Man, I want the building ones just to shut him up. But then I realized that he was just a dog child discovering the world for the very first time. It was getting dark and I, I brought him home and I watched him fall asleep. Then I went into his mother's room and I laid down beside her and I listened as she called me a bunch of dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> and after she was finished, I put my arms around her. My thigh was on her thigh. And we kissed. Man, I tell you, it sounded like a torture chamber the way we were carrying on. And when we was through, we just stood out into the quietness, and, and I told her that she was the sweetest bitch that ever was. And she was no longer calling me a dirty motherfucker. Now she was calling me a sweet motherfucker. <laughs> and then I... I, I looked in her face, and I, then I knew that question was going to come. So I hardly put on my clothes. I wanted to reach to the door. But before I can reach, I can hear she said it. She said it. I wonder are you going to marry me and be the son, the father to your son? I didn't hear all of that. I didn't, I didn't come for that. And, and before I can even turn my back, man, she took her nails. I swear she took her nails. And she, she just dug it right into my shoulders. And before you know it, my eye, and I hit a gun and I slapped him with his hand. I hit him and I hit him and I hit him and I hit him. Until her face was a bloody mess. And then I, I felt real bad about that. And I said, all right, all right, I, I'll marry you. Yes, yes, I, I'll marry you. And then I, I walked out the door. Now I was walking in the neighborhood, and, and I just started thinking, you know. I was found in a bucket of blood the day I was born. But I did all right for myself. I kissed babies simply because they was babies. And here I am thinking that I'm about to marry some bitch that I don't even like. <laughs> and just to think that this boy of mine might grow up and after he find out how I feel about his mama, he might be just a man to kill me. And I got the shaking with just the thought of that. And the last time I trembled like that, I, I killed a man. You know, you know, 
Shit. 